If you've ever tried to grow a following on any social media platform and try to monetize that following, and I've covered this in a lot of my videos, you know that the link in your bio is basically your number one asset for sending people from your social media platform into another page, another website, landing page, whatever the case may be. So this could be on Instagram, it could be on Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever the social media platform is, typically you ask people to click the link in the bio and that link in the bio takes them somewhere else outside of Instagram, Facebook, or the social media that you're posting that to. Now on the other side of that link has to be something useful. So typically I'll build out entire websites where I send people there or a way to give them a PDF file or have them watch another video. But every time I have to build something completely from scratch and it takes a lot of technical knowledge to have something on the other side of that link that is useful for people to go to. But a lot of people don't have the time or the technical knowledge to build something out. So when they say click the link in the bio, typically it could be something really simple. It takes them to a YouTube page or maybe a website or a different social media handle. But there are a ton of other opportunities for that link in the bio. So I wanted to make this video to really show you how to supercharge that link and give you a ton of other options without any technical background. Let me show you this platform that kind of blew my mind the first time I came across it. It's called Koji. And basically what it does is it does exactly what it says. It supercharges the link in the bio. And what that means is instead of you building something on the other side of that link, Koji takes care of that for you. So they have these things called add-ons where with each add-on, you could have someone when they click the link in your bio, take them to a different page or ask them for a different action. It's almost like a whole app store really for creators to supercharge that link in the bio. And I'm gonna make a follow-up video to show you very specific things. I wanted to quickly make this video to introduce you to the platform and give you some examples of add-ons and show you how to add them. And then I'll make some example videos to show you how to monetize different profiles with these add-ons. So for example, just to show you some of the popular add-ons, you could have the link in your bio work as a tip jar. You could have a capture emails. You could send them to a video with this video add-on. You could have it stream music. And some of my favorite ones that I'll cover in upcoming videos is you could lock photos and videos and then create kind of a paywall for premium content. So someone will have to pay you. You could request videos, you could download files, you could do giveaways, you could conduct polls through that link, ton of options. And you could definitely explore some of these. Again, the link is below. You could go ahead and view any one of these. And then for example, if you press view next to it, it's gonna tell you all about it here, show you a little preview. So imagine this being a whole app store for content creators for supercharging the link in the bio. Now let me show you how to use it. Just sign into this website first. And I use my phone number here to sign in and create a username for yourself. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then fill out the about you page here and then add a profile picture on the next page and then go ahead and press finish sign up. And now I could just go ahead and get started and then add that link, which this website is gonna make for me to my social media, whatever the social media I wanna choose. And then it's gonna bring you here to edit your profile and you could do a lot here with your profile. You could add a bio, you could add social links and you could add Koji or links over here too. So go ahead and add at least one link so you could go to the next page. I'll just add my website here and I'll go ahead and press save and I'll press done just to show you the next page of adding a link to your bio. Now back to this page, I'm gonna press that Koji icon and go to the template store here so I could actually show you how to add this. This is back on the home page now, so I showed you how to create a profile. Now, let's say I wanted to capture emails from my followers. I could go ahead and view that one. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and press remix on it, and I could give it a title. Let's say I wanna promote my YouTube course that's coming out soon. I could go ahead and title it that, give it a description, and then I could ask people to give me their name. I could require their name here, and I could go ahead and turn on disclaimer text if I wanna add anything as a disclaimer and then I could go ahead and press save. And look how easy this is. This is completely free. You could tip the developer here if you like. And viewing permission, I could make it public or I could make it unlisted or subscribers only. So I'm gonna leave it on public, press publish. And just like that, it created this page for me. YouTube course coming soon, first and last name and email, and then people could sign up to be notified. So now you could share the Koji directly from here by copying the link. Now we'll share the Koji, but I wanna show you something even better. 
I'm gonna go back here to my profile. And back in my profile here, I'm gonna press the plus sign. And what's great about this is gonna show you the Kojis that you created before. So the YouTube course coming soon, I could go ahead and add that from here to my profile. And I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter here, the title, I'm just gonna call it YT course and I'm gonna press done. And then you could go ahead and add an image here, which you should add one from your photos or upload an image. I'll go ahead and just take one here on my iPad of just a YouTube logo here. And I'll just go ahead and use this logo here as my YouTube course profile. And then I'll press save right on top. Now it's added that email capture Koji here on my profile. And I'll do one more here. I'll press the plus sign. I'll show you one of my favorites, the tip jar here. And I'm gonna put it on my profile as well. So I'll press view on the tip jar. And let's go ahead and use this tip jar here. And with tip jar, it's really cool because people could actually tip you by clicking the link in your bio. So again, you could add a profile image here. So go ahead and choose a picture or video. So I'll choose this image here. I'll press choose on it. And then you wanna put a message here that shows up on this tip jar. So you could put whatever you want there and a thank you message on the bottom here and then press the arrow here to go to the next page. And then you have the usual settings here and I'm gonna press publish and I'll make more dedicated videos on the tip jar. One of my favorite things with Koji and I'll go ahead and save that link. So now I have three different links link to affinity.com to get people to check out my website, my YouTube course that's coming out soon to capture emails to notify people and the tip jar. Now what's great about this is I could press done on top and now I could share this whole link to my profile of any social media. So I could press the Koji icon here and press share and copy the link or go directly to any one of the social media profiles you see here. I'll go ahead and copy it and I'll go directly to Instagram and here inside of Instagram, I'm actually promoting something else. I'm promoting my Instagram course, but I wanna replace it with the Koji link to promote multiple things at the same time instead of just one. So if I press edit profile here, it's gonna bring me to this page where I could go ahead and tap on the website link, erase this, and then tap again and paste my Koji link. So my Koji link is the one I set up right now through this video. So if I press done now, this is what happens when someone clicks the new link. It just updated and if someone clicks it, it takes them directly to my Koji profile, which I could add more to and I'm gonna continue to optimize this profile. This is what you get now out of this. People could go directly to my website. They could click the YouTube course, I'll show you that. They could click this, get this email pop-up and type in their name right here and their email and they could sign up. And just like that, I have an email capture for my upcoming course, and I got someone's email to notify them when it's ready. They could press the tip jar. The tip jar opens up like this with that, and then they could tap right here and type in an amount and leave a note for me. And this is all from this link in the bio. So it's really powerful to give people a link in the bio like this. And I would go ahead and edit the text that I have. It says, check out the free video. Now the linking in my bio could be something else. So instead of check out the video, check out my Koji profile and I'll press done here. So I'll update your call to action and I'm gonna add my link to my Instagram course as well. So everything is laid out in one place on my Koji profile and anybody clicking any link in any social media platform could land on here, give me their email, give me a tip or check out my website. Now, before I discover this platform, I've captured emails before. I do this all the time, especially when I have new courses coming out, but I have to build an entire system that takes me hours to build a landing page and a way to capture emails and then pay for a bunch of services to connect all of them. <laughs> this took me just a couple of minutes to show you everything from creating your profile to creating that link. The link itself just took 15 seconds basically to create. And it has very similar options for just about anything you could imagine. I found over a hundred different add-ons, each designed to do a different thing. So I'll make sure on the follow-up videos, I give you some specifics. So I wanna thank Koji. They were nice enough to sponsor this video and really show me around this platform that's really so easy to use. And I think if you're a content creator, if you grow social media profiles, and if you wanna monetize online presence, 
this is the way to go and it removes the barrier the technical barrier that you had to know before to do many many things that took hours and a lot of technical knowledge so i'm really excited about it so i was going to end the video right there but i was editing the video this is the next day now and i wanted to show some results from my koji since i set up a tip jar and an email collection let me just jump into my phone to show you what happened I'm back on my Instagram profile here and let me go ahead and launch the Koji just from the link in the bio here. And basically what ended up happening is when I shared this, I ended up getting email signups. So let me show you how to look that up. I'm going to click the email signup list and on top it's going to say view email. So let me show you what that looks like. And I'll have to blur these since I don't know these people and I don't want to give away their emails. But the first one you see, that's the one I used when I showed you how to do this. So they all appear over here and I could go ahead and download them. So easy to capture emails this way. And then I did customize this a bit more. So you can see it has like a nice gradient background now. And I added these GIF emojis here. Now, if I go ahead and tap on the tip jar, let me show you this here. I ended up changing up my tip jar a little bit and people ended up giving me some tips. So to see that I could click on here I could see the analytics. Let me go over there just to show you what you see. And I could see how much money I made from the tip jar. So $22.95 from the tip jar. Let me go ahead and select that. And then I'll have to blur these people's name. But here you could see that they were tipping me $5 and I got to keep $4.25 of that for a total of $22.95 just from yesterday from posting this here. And I could go ahead and withdraw that money just from here and then connect my Stripe account. And I made some of the customization here on the desktop. So you could actually jump between the phone and the desktop and it all syncs up since it's the same Koji account. I hope you found this useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm going to post more of these videos, as I mentioned, giving you specific tips and tricks on how to utilize Koji to monetize different social media profiles. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.